She was a strong woman. You had to be with four children though, right? All through her life she worked. She was like a machine. She'd get up in the mornings, take us all to school. Then off she'd go to do her job at a clothing factory down the road from where we live. She did the accounts there. And then in the evenings she'd pick us up from my grandma's. On the weekends, even when she was completely exhausted, she still found the energy to take us to the park. She probably found it easier this way. Tires all out so we'd come back and sleep. This way she could have some time for herself to smoke and drink. She was clever like that. Always a step ahead of everyone else. When I was 17 years old, she came to pick us up from my grandma's. The other boys were too busy fighting and playing ball games, but I could see through the window my grandma hug her. And I could tell. I could see a difference in her eyes. I didn't know what, but I knew something wasn't right. She was always one step ahead of everyone else. But the cancer was one step ahead of her. Another thing about my mother, she was always right. So, what are you looking for? I just need some information. Does he have a military background, counter-interrogation training, anything like that? I don't think so, no. So, how do you want this to go down? Should I kill him afterwards? Put him out of his misery? Well, I guess so, yeah. I don't want him talking, do we? Of course. Because if he comes back and starts blabbing about me breaking his balls, then I have to come back and kill both of you. Then what a waste of money for you. <laughs> okay. Write down the questions you'd like the answers for. Start with some light electrocution, which normally gets the job done. If I need to go any further, I'll let you know the charges before I inflict any more damage. Is this clear, Mr. Canterbury? Crystal clear. Good. Any further questions? When do we start? So, guys, are you looking forward to the gig tonight? Yeah, definitely. It's going to be great. Yeah, that, you know, laying down tracks in the studio is all very fine, but the real thing is like bringing up music to the masses, like performing it to the crowds. What kind of crowds do you normally play to? You know, like, they are fairly intimate, like around 50 people, but they still get excited, like, you know, they throw things at us, they shout names at us. Things like underwear? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes like underwear, sometimes like used condoms, sometimes like, you know, uh, used tickets, so it's like, I see it like rebelling against the system. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And at last week's gig, some people were booing and walking out, is that normal? You know, some people just cannot handle our vibe, man, you know, because we tell it how it is, like, we talk about real stuff, like, death, abortion, ISIS. ISIS? Yeah, man, ISIS is a terrorist, man. Sometimes I think we might take it too far, but Gabriel really believes in his lyrics. Take time out of work, call it a hiatus, climb me to the womb, rip up the feet to scrape, scrape, scrape it out, scrape it out, scrape it out, scrape, scrape, scrape it out, scrape it out, yeah. You know, you know, these lyrics are just so deep, man, they really mean something. Yeah, uh, definitely. Sex with other condom babies are born, remember that before you get the horn. Those are lyrics again. He doesn't work for Jurex. No, down with capitalism. Ah, smash the system. Fuck Costa. Ah! And cut. Pretty good. Pretty darn good.